it's a lot, it's studio adventure. All right, let's get straight to it. Hip Hop Nation, 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 Nation. Listen, nation, y'all, I told nation, y'all Thursday nation. was going to be like Friday around here, the way yeah. we was going to keep it real lit, the way the guests was coming through, the way that everything was going down. Now, we just had the whole Dirty Water music group in here, and big shout out to Hannah Rad holding down the music. Yo, yeah, I'm yeah, sweating. Yeah. I'm sweating after Dirty Water and came you got through your, here. And you got a, a, a damn sleeveless joint on. You I still know. sweating. Yo, they had me on one. It's about to be hotter for the ladies at I least. I know. We, we only halfway there oh, right snap. now. Yeah, yeah, for the ladies it at got, least. It got real stop smooth it, in here. I'm, I'm blushing now. I'm getting even hotter than I was before. I don't <laughs> exactly. Know. I'm going to turn away. I can't even know. Yo, listen, when my bro <laughs> come through the building, I just sit down and shut up. Man, I just let it. You know what I mean? I, this ain't even my show no more. This ain't even the tour guy. We got Mac Wild. In the building. What's yeah, good, my what's G? What's going on? What's going on, man? Everything great, man. Good to see you. We've been seeing a lot of each other lately. Absolutely. It's like we a group now. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like you know, what we'll, we'll Sky Zoo. We need him in. Right. We're Sky in here, Red <laughs> West, and making the family. Yeah, exactly. Fit. Exactly. <laughs> so Mac Wilds is here now. Of course, we got a lot to talk about, man. Yes, new sir. records out right now, going crazy. Love in the nineties. Yeah, Album on deck. New yes, labels. S situation. Yeah. Plus a new movie slash. Let's make it a TV show. Quit playing VH1. <laughs> exactly. VH1. exactly. <laughs> Stop around playing, right? yeah i mean man. so let's uh let's start with loving the 90s man great okay. record thank you sir love the you. record the feedback i've been seeing from the people is crazy yo between between the feedback from the record and and the music video it's always been, it's been nothing but like everybody's been loving it so much so yeah the video uh, is dope man yeah, he was you, young man. mookie yeah young <laughs> mookie exactly <laughs> absolutely what, what was the inspiration behind this song you know um i, I think i think uh, i was mostly inspired by um, by the 90s and well not even just by the 90s by the breaks you know mm-hmm. after doing the breaks you know I was so steeped in the in the time and the culture and the era that um, like we got back into the studio and I was like yo this song has it has something on it like I gotta we gotta do something with it and turn it into what you heard today you know we called in Teddy Riley Scott Storch and made it into I guess the masterpiece that it is. Yeah, now. yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a very crazy record. Talk to Thank me you. about the Teddy Riley experience, crazy, if you will. Crazy, crazy. That man has stories for days, bro. Like, um, just like the just the the gems that he can drop and the stories that he has about like um, his time with Guy mm-hmm. or like with with Michael Jackson. Uh, um, it, it, it's amazing, man. It's amazing. He's he's definitely um, he, he's he's one of the masters of his craft, bro. Yeah, yeah. Teddy Riley is, and I'm not even a producer, but he's one of those guys who made me really pay attention to Production. producing and records. Yeah. And absolutely, man. For all you millennials out there, do your googles if you don't know who Teddy please, Riley is. He's please. not just Naya Riley's father. <laughs> he did some shit before he was on Love and Hip Hop. In case you didn't a, know, he's done a lot of stuff besides produce those beautiful young women. He's, absolutely, he's created. Uh, a bunch of other babies right right <laughs> vicariously right to the, to the sound man now let's talk about because when we was in the studio uh working on my joint uh yeah. you played me some records yes sir that sound crazy where we at with the album We're finishing it up man like you know I'm, I'm you know i'm trying to put it together the right way make it sound like it's a movie like i want it to be like a, an audio movie okay so. Um, we'll probably like probably need like a couple more records and then we're done. But uh, we're really really close. When you following up, you know your debut, which was an amazing album. If you ain't got it, you mm-hmm. played yourself, but you can still get it. That's the beauty of the internet. It's still out there. Go to don't iTunes never, right don't now. Don't ever play yourself. Yeah, listen, major key. Don't major ever play key. yourself. Don't ever play yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Khaled runs everything Yo, right now. He's the um, king, bro. How, how did you go into the mindset of of following up? You know that that stellar debut. Thank you, man. Um, I, honestly, I I think when when we got back in the studio, my main focus was like, uh, you know, we did that. That was a movie on itself. But you know, let's let's make another movie. It's like it's like doing another another film. It's like a you have to build the script. You have to figure out the characters in it. How you're gonna put it out, and then uh, go from there. So. Um, where we're pr- that's what I'm saying we're close to being done gotcha. you know it just it just took the time to piece it together the right way absolutely to make it sound like it's more than just some songs absolutely the yeah. thespian that he is he uses you know movies as as um <laughs> as um what's the word I'm looking for I don't know but I Analogies. like it he yes. painted a nice yeah, picture yeah, I'm, yeah, ready. Yeah, I'm he, pulling out some popcorn I'm ready to listen <laughs> to all this right now well that's going down later tonight <laughs> <laughs> Sus yeah. one the feature presentation get your popcorn ready for that yeah. Hannah we gonna let you get back into the music Mac when we come back we definitely gotta talk about you know the other side of Mac Wiles that is the thespian side yes, sir. so we gonna chop it up about all of that hit us up 877-60 hip hop later Ladies, I know you're going crazy. I'm going to let you talk to Mac Wiles. Relax. Right now, though, it's Hannah Raddis, Hip Hop Nation. You know how we do it. Go, Vince, y'all. 
It's Hip Hop Nation. Your tour guide, Torre, is here. DJ Hannah Rad on the set. My Ooh. bro, Mac Wiles, is here. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, they definitely <laughs> keeping it sexy in here. Um, it's, it's so sexy right now. I don't even know what I'm going to do after this. I don't know what to do with myself. Towel <laughs> off, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know the number, 877-604-4746. That's 877-60-HIP-HOP. Behind the scenes, Mac said, I can go on tour with him and sing background vocals. I, I, said, so. I, said, I said we could try. You know, we're going to see. Damn. We gonna, we gonna, you're going to shut him. it down live on the air like that? We're, we're that's how you feel? We're going to get him right, and then we're going to take him, you know, we got we got to make sure he's right singing the background. So right, right, right. Yeah. We can't be out there feeling crazy. <laughs> um, phenomenal album, Grammy you, nominated. You. you know yeah. we loved it. Now, speaking on the Grammys, and obviously you you dabble in both worlds as a as an actor and as a musician. Yes, sir. Um, it's a lot of talk about, you know, boycotting the, the Grammys and talking about boycotting the awards and all these different things. Um, yeah, yeah. What's, what's your take on the whole situation? For, uh, for the Oscars, it's... um. It's uh, it's it's crazy. I'll say that you know it's 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 one of those situations where it, you know, as um as a young black man, you know you, you see it, it sucks, but it's not nothing new. You know, mm-hmm. it's not nothing. It's nothing that we haven't seen before, or that we you know. There's plenty of times that we've been snubbed before. The thing that I, I honestly. I, I think that one of the greatest things that's come out of it is that we're actually speaking about it now. Right. We're actually fighting against it now, which is uh, amazing to see people trying w- that that somebody's actually trying to actively pull people together to fight against it. So uh, I'm, I'm happy for that. But right. Uh, for the snub, it's it's kind of like one of those things where it's it sucks, but it's like I mean I'm used to it by now. Absolutely, yeah. but we got to get unused to it. We got to you know we got to retrain our train of thought and, yeah. and fight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, and, and and definitely do what we got to do. Now you've actually been on a number of successful projects. Obviously, The Wire, yes, legendary yes. shit. Then praise you God. jumped into a, a legendary franchise of 90210, <laughs> yes, yes. which praise was God. crazy. And now we we I mean, of course, movies and things in between. Mm-hmm. Um, and then most recently, The Breaks, man. Yeah, now man. talk to me about your experience working with a stellar actor like myself <laughs> in The Breaks. <laughs> no, what what was your experience like on um, filming the joint? It was amazing, man. Like um. You know, to to be able to do something with um, such a dedicated cast, shout sh- shout yourself such, out for that. right, like shout such as Torre, sh- absolutely such as Torre. <laughs> um, you know, th- I I think I think to be on a cast like that and everybody to understand, you know, we're doing something bigger than us. You know, like this is legit for the culture of hip hop. You know, we have shows, and it's no disrespect to any show. Like legit, I don't want anybody to take any disrespect from this. You know, it's it's not like there are other shows that are be, that are out right now that um, don't necessarily show exactly what happens in hip hop. You know, <clears throat> some some things are a lot of uh, are very much sensationalized. Absolutely. Whereas the breaks, we st- we steep ourselves in authenticity. You know? Right. Um, right. This this ain't reality. This is authenticity. Re- exactly. So I like that. It's it's is you know we try to keep it as as real and and as possible. So. I, I love that we were able to do that for the culture, and I hope that we can keep doing it. Absolutely. Now, of course, I know the answers, but this is things that people want to know. <laughs> they saw it. Everybody, yo, I'm talking about dog. And you know I had a super small, <laughs> super small role, right? Everybody running up. The security Six guard the, the security guard downstairs <laughs> ran up on me. It was like 3 o'clock in the morning. I wasn't even supposed <laughs> to be in the building. I'm leaving. I went to sleep. You know what I mean? I came from the club, went to sleep up here. Don't tell nobody, though. Just all the millions of people that's listening. Exactly. Security guard, 3 o'clock in the morning. I never saw before. Stops me. Yo, how y'all going to end it like that? Everybody's <laughs> going crazy. I'm sure you've been getting the same oh, thing. Oh, absolutely. So absolutely. What, what is the status of the breaks, and, and why, did it, why did it end like that on that cliffhanger? You know, I think I think we we understood what we were what we were up against and what we wanted to do was um, try to draw, was to draw the viewers in uh, to want to see more, you mm-hmm. know? So um, with having a great show, greatly written, and to be about some real stuff, actually bringing it to where people want to see what happens next, making it, you know, have, have a certain level of like, like, oh, snap. Right. But, um, you know, uh, as for what's going on right now, we still got to, I still have to have, we still have to have a conversation with um, VH1 but to see if it's going to actually become another movie. Or if it's going to be a series, so 
Um, if it becomes a series, you guys might see six hours some more. Oh, you definitely will <laughs> see six hours some more. <laughs> shout out to Steve, shout out to Dan, um, Afton, Anton, Method Man, Wood Matt, Harris, of yeah. course, Mac, the whole entire cast. Yeah, amazing yeah. time doing that, man. I always have amazing time with great people. We got some great people in the building, like mm -hmm. Hannah. So we're going to let Hannah Rag get back into the music. If yeah, you want to talk yeah. to Mac, 877-60-HIP-HOP. Y'all going to keep it sexy? Because if so, of course, I'm going to so. go I, in the I other room. I have a request straight from Mac. You yeah. got a request from Mac? Absolutely. From Mac, from yeah. Me. Come so show I'm, I'm going to put you on the spot right now. Oh, jeez. We got a little trouble times coming up here. Uh-oh. 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 Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh was last hour. <laughs> we here, Mac Wise, Toray. Hip-Hop Nation, let's get it. <laughs> I'm in studio.